Welcome here today, my name's Dave Green. I'm here to demonstrate the Future Wave Pull Pump Energy Saver, how to install it, how it arrives at your house, and also what applications you can do to customise it to what you've got at home with your pool system. So I'll go through the components first. What will arrive at your door is a Future Wave Pull Pump Energy Saver, which we've mounted up here on the wall. You also get paperwork to come with it. This shows you everything from flow rates to warranties to everything you need to know about that Future Wave unit is in this pack, so have a good read of that. And it also shows you a wiring diagram of how to install it. Now in the field we always install from the end, backwards is the easiest way to do it. So we've got your pull pump here, it's the first thing we locate. That goes into your Future Wave pull pump energy saver, comes to your chlorinator and then to your power supply. So we'll go through in the field on how to put that in. We've also got a watts on energy meter just up here demonstrating what power and use the house has at the moment with the pump off. And when the pump turns on you'll be able to see the influx in power which is obviously more costly cost to yourself and we'll be able to see how much it ramps down with the, with the uh, future wave pull pump energy saver so the first thing we find is the pull pump filtration pump okay so we look down here and what we've got is this black pump just down on the ground so we get the lead that comes out of the back of that we follow that through and that comes into the bottom of our chlorinator unit which is this blue one just here okay so we unplug that out of the bottom and we have it in our hand we then come over to our future wave pull pump energy saver and there's a grey lead coming out of the bottom. That grey lead goes into the bottom where I've just pulled this from, out of the chlorinator, okay? And then the pump, which is this black one, goes into the bottom. So what we've done there is we've worked from the pump through into the future wave unit, which is in the bottom of here. And we've come out of the future wave unit into the chlorinator. And the chlorinator is connected to mains power, okay? So it's a very simple setup. How to mount this, there's two stainless mounts on the back of that future wave unit. It can be mounted onto brick or can be mounted onto timber. Prefer to use stainless if you do, it lasts a lot longer, screws. Um, it just sits up there. Now these are got a weather grade on them, okay, they're, they're a good unit, they're passed by Energex. They can handle a little bit of spray, so they're right to uh, install in this sort of environment. So we'll go through the operation now. What I'll do is I'll turn this chlorinator onto bypass, just so we can see the pump running. As you can see, we've just jumped 800 watts, okay, and as that'll run up there. So you're looking at, that's a normal operation for this size pump on this filtration unit, and that's running flat out now. Okay, so as long as this customer uses it, it'll just run flat out, and that's, it'll be a cost to them in their electricity bill. Now I've got this on flow adjust in the middle. So we just open these little latches on the side to get into the unit, we swing that open. Just going through this on the front, You've got 31.5 rotations per second up there on the left and 50, okay? Now that's relative to the supply power to your house runs at 50 hertz per second and it works with your pump, so 50 rotations. So what we can do is we slow it down to 31.5 rotations per second, which is a saving to yourself without tampering too much with the flow rate. Okay, so with this on flow adjustment in the middle there, we can then adjust right up to full power Okay, of how the pump was running. Now this is handy when you have your barracudas, if you have any fountains, anything like that that you need a little bit more pressure, you can adjust it and customise it to what you've got at home. Okay, so we'll just go back down to maximum saving. Now this is 80% saving electricity per year with our studies. Okay, so to give you an idea off the normal average pool, it's about six to $700 a year saving on your pool pump, just by plugging this investment in. Okay, so what you can see, it's gone down to a thousand watts now. Okay, which is a bit more than standby. Obviously a fridge or something else has cooked, uh, kicked in, but it's still a definite saving from last time. Okay, well, if we want to clean the pool, we can then just come out here, open the lid up, we can click it over to full power backwash. Now that's whenever you're cleaning filters, you've got the barracuda or whatever device you have plugged in there, you've got full power out of your pump. So you really have control over how fast your pump's running, which is control over your electricity bill. So that's basically the, the running of the unit, um, very simple. Once we're done, we can click over to our flow adjustment or we can go to maximum savings, which is at the very bottom. So really user friendly. When we're finished, we just shut the door. Shut the future wave unit and that's all done. So as you can see, 1,024 watts is what the pool pump's running at now. Okay, so we've just proved that the future wave unit does reduce the speed of your pool pump very quieter, I don't have to yell much anymore, it's still running now, and, um, and we reduce the power of your household. 
If you'd like to see any more of this, please go to www.dgelectrical.com.au. We have a full brochure on there, and our team's there to support with any questions you have via phone or email.